Okay, welcome to part three, uh, where we're going to create the back of the revolver body. Uh, we're going to put a half sphere sort of in this area here, and then we're going to merge it into here. We're also going to work on the gate, a little piece that comes off the back uh, that is a part of a typical revolver. So let's start by, uh, let's go spacebar B, and let's go W just to go into um, wireframe mode. And let's go in and add a sphere. Now what we're going to do is we don't want to add it up at this level. We actually want to add it into the body here. So if we take what we've done so far, let's go in and um, do what we did before. So the other parts, we're going to hide the inputs because we don't need them right now. Uh, we're not going to make edits to any of that. I'm going to go tab, sphere, sphere polygons, and there we go. Now, we're going to set the display on this, and if we want to, we can template this, um, although we don't need to right now. Let's just focus on the sphere for the moment. We're going to put this along the z-axis. Uh, we're going to put a scale of 0 0.25. Um, there we go, and you see it's starting to line up with uh, that sizes it appropriately here. And then we're going to put a rows and columns of 12 and 10. And that gives us a little bit less geometry to work with, and it's going to be a little bit cleaner uh, in that regard. Now, the only thing is, I think we, instead of having the flat part at the bottom, let's rotate here to 18, and that will put, um, put a line down the center there. That will work a little bit better for us. Now, let's go to the Select tool. So what we want to do is we want to select all of those. It's going to select them on both sides and press Delete. What we're then going to do is let's start with this first one. Press 3, double click on the edge. We've got that side there. Go Tab, Poly, Fill. Okay, so that fills the area there. Now what we want to do is two things. One is we want to change that to quadrilateral grid. We're going to change the tangent strength to 2, which is going to bulge it out a little bit better. And we're also going to change the corner offset. So we're going to do it so that it lines up with that egg diagonal there. That's, what, that's the one that we want there. Perfect. Uh, now we're going to double click on this and we're going to press Q. Again, quadrilateral grid, change that to two. And this one again, we can, this one's, there we go. We want that to be the same. There we go. So it also lined up uh, there, which is perfect. Now, once we have this, what we want to do is we're going to press N to get the whole geometry. We're going to tab, flatten. Oh, it went to point, so it needs to be a point selection. So we point selection, and we do this. But what we're going to do is instead of uh, that direction, we're going to go 0, 0, minus 1. And there we go. So it's flattened all the points we had up to that point to here. And then the sphere sort of goes off from there, which is perfect. Now, we want to use a transform node, so we press N, tab, transform, there we go. Now, once we have that, we can move this, and we're going to move this essentially to right here. And this is where we could, if we want, um, bring the body back. But instead of bringing it back, we're going to do a template, which allows us to see that. And then we can go in and we can see how what we're doing lines up. Now, in, at some level, we want to really align it there. But later when we Boolean it, that can get a little messy. So we're going to actually let that overhang a little bit. And then we'll sort of tidy it up afterwards. Just a little bit. Just enough so that we can find things later. And that sets this up um, for the Boolean. But before we do that, let's uh, untemplate that because we have some edits to do on this shape. And so we're going to go spacebar B on the um, back area here. And what we want is all of these points 
to essentially align with this little shape in here. So we do that by selecting points, just pressing T, and align handle to world, I guess. It's fine. Uh, just want to make sure we're going in. We're not going off in a third direction somewhere. And there we go. We're pulling these points in. Pulling that point. And pulling that point. And, and each time we're doing this, because we're box selecting, we're picking points on both sides. There's, uh, And so we're, we're moving them both. If you just single click on a point, um, then you will separate it from the other side, which is not what we want. So it's very important that you box select these uh, as you move them around. There we go. We've got that shape. Now let's go spacebar B, spacebar B, and there we go. You can sort of see that there. So we're going to press 4, and we're going to select all of the pieces. Oh, no, let's get those two as well. All the pieces that belong to that little section there. And we're going to go tab split. Now what split does is it takes your selection, makes it into one group, and then whatever was in the other group goes to the other uh, then. And then what we can do is we convert the selection. So we've got this shape uh, initially to start. And let's just go uh, smooth wired shaded. Um, so if we go tab polyfill. And we just put that here. And we connect that into here. You'll see it's sort of a bit of a mess. But we can do, change that by going quadrilateral grid and gives them a nice clean result there. And that does its job. Now, if we alt-click this over to here and feed, feed this in, now we get exactly the same thing, a nice clean result on there. And if we merge those together, we would get the complete shape. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to do a poly split to basically add some topology in here. So we're going to go in and we're going to go, let's find that poly split. And we're going to click here. And then middle click on your wheel. Your, use your wheel to sort of create uh, snap points. And we don't have to do them all. We can just do some of them. And then press Enter. And, and it will go all the way around. It will connect those together and create the topology that we want, which is great. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to extrude some pieces off the top and the bottom. So we're going to go for, and let's do a poly extrude. And this time, instead of going off the normals, we want to have a little more control over it. And so we're going to, once we've got that, let's go spacebar B, uh, spacebar B. There's the, the piece right there. And we're going to go T to translate and rotate. We're going to rotate a little bit this way. So that gives us that shape there. Perfect. Maybe just move it a little bit more. Spacebar B, spacebar B. We're now going to do the same thing on the bottom, but we're going to take those two. And so we're going to, let's do a Q. So that's another poly extrude. We're going to transform extruded front uh, again, spacebar B, spacebar B. Um, so we're extruding from here. So we're going to bring that down to here, uh, maybe rotate around to get that and translate it to get it sort of like this. Now, uh, maybe a little more, maybe a little more rotate, uh, a little more like that. And we're going to add some detail. We're going to add three divisions in there. So we have some detail to reshape this a bit. Now, once we've got that, we want to do a point selection. We're going to press 2 to get point selection. And we're going to grab the points, again, picking top to bottom. So we're getting both sides, not a single click. And we're going to move that into there. And we're going to move this uh, like this.
Okay. And if we go to spacebar B, spacebar B, you can see what that shape looks like here. It's sort of like uh, this. So this is the gate, which is a part of the of the network. So we're going to tab null, and let's go in and put that into there, and we're going to call this the gate. And this part. We're going to add a null in there. Bring that down. And call that the half sphere. Now, we can also bring down the rest of the geometry there. So we have three pieces that we're going to work with uh, and bring together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go tab boolean. I'm going to put that right in here, and we're going to focus on these two pieces uh, for now. So we're going to bring in the body front and the half sphere. And right now, I think it's, uh, yeah, deleting it, but we don't want to subtract it. We want to union those together. So now we've got one complete shape, which we can work with. So that's great. That is part of the shape. What we need to do is take this gate and we're going to use the gate. Eventually the gate will become a separate part that just fits into here. Um, but because we did those extrusions, we need to cut the extrusions out of here as part of that. Um, and we need to give it a little bit of leeway. So we're going to go back to the, the gate here and let's template that geometry for now just so we see how they are in relation to each other. And we're going to start by taking this edge here, so we're going to go four there, press shift A, and that will select all of that. And we're going to poly extrude. Okay, that didn't click in. Poly extrude, okay, it works this time. Uh, and this time we'll just work on the normal and we're going to pull that out. And that's that's just to give us a little bit of extra leeway when we go to do the uh, poly extrude so, or the, the uh, merge. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take sort of everything in here. So let's go spacebar B, spacebar B. So everything in here on, bo on both sides, we're going to delete. If we go spacebar B, spacebar B, uh, oh, we didn't get everything. Okay, so let's reselect that, and with like, oh, we didn't get that, 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 and that, and we didn't get this, so we're going to use the shift to get these other pieces of geometry. Okay, and press enter. So we were able to reselect and get the pieces that we needed. Okay, this is getting a little distracting. We'll come back to this in a second. So now that we've got that, uh, we can press three, double click to get that little area there, and poly fill. That will close that. Again, quadrilateral grid. We'll make that much cleaner. There we go, perfect. And um, there we go. We want all of these faces uh, to be pushed out a little bit. So we're going to go select, and we're going to use a select called select by normal, and we're going to use that to select this part here, and then we're going to go T, and we're going to just pull that out. Perfect. Then we're going to go and go back to select, and this time turn that off. Uh, we're going to go for this, and this time we're going to go into toggle the peak handle and that will allow us to move uh, perpendicular to that. And then similarly, uh, we're going to select this and this and we're going to move those in a little bit as well. That'll just help uh, with the what we're about to do. And so what we're doing here is we're going to tab null. We're going to put a null here. We're going to call that cutout. Okay, now we're going to go tab boolean. We're going to take this shape here 
and this shape here set display and that is subtract so what you see is that there's some subtraction of the shapes we've cut it out of here we've cut it out of there uh, and and but the gate itself if we were to template that it's still there and it's going to be brought back another way so that just um, that's the shape we need to move forward so great job we've now got the back set up the only problem is we've got some very messy geometry in here like a lot of end polygons and things that aren't going to shade very nicely and we're going to have to do some cleanup things that you know lines that these don't line up with these lines and so on so we got to figure out how to clean that up and create a better quality result so that's going to be our next next task uh, as we keep working on the body of the revolver